This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. I, I am uh, my testosterone. I want to apologize if this podcast gets a little heated and if there's there's I slap Brendan or something happens because I was I've been watching Swamp Kings and um, man. Florida, Florida's got some football. Everybody, ga back then, yeah, Gators. Back then, especially, dude, those guys. That, Urban Meyer was like, "I'm one gonna, of the best teams ever. I'm gonna break these. Whoever can't handle this insane training is. I don't want you here." That, but the thing is, when I watch that, that, that's pretty much Division One football. Is it really? Yeah, at high level. Oof. We did the exact same thing. You did, huh? Called Dirty Dozens, just killing each other. Yeah, that, and they're just trying to weed out the weak. But I think it's good for people to see. It is, um, I would imagine also that the bond that those guys have. Yes, brings the, everybody together, I especially mean, the top dogs. I like mean, the people who are actually in a play yeah. get really, really close. I get a little sad too sometimes because sometimes it's like, that might be the highlight of your life at that age. Like yep. that might be the, the, the best pinnacle. time of the pinnacle of your life. Yep. And for most of us, it isn't that, right? We get older, we have kids, we, we we're still accomplishing. When you're an athlete and, and, and the other thing is I looked up a lot of those guys and what their pro careers were. Some of them had good pro careers. A lot of them didn't. A lot of them had two years in the NFL, which is nothing, you know, it's not, I'm not. Spike's like the main captain on defense yeah. had like a seven year yes. career, which is good. Solid. Yeah. Yeah. Tebow, you know, not a decent career. What a stud though. Uh, oh Percy Harvins was a stud, but then he always, Percy Harvin, he always injured? had some. He's had some issues, mental issues. Oh, is that what it was? How long did he play in the pros, Percy Harvin? I don't know. Freak. Freak, right? Tim, Tim said it's the best athlete he's ever seen. That's what Urban Meyer said. He said he's the best athlete. How about Urban Meyer on that? He goes, we won the national championship. Everyone's in the locker room celebrating. I go to my office to start recruiting kids. He's like, it, it was never enough. It never ends. And he started taking ambience and got addicted to that, drinking. I Don't tell me. I haven't gotten to that part yet. Oh okay, yeah. If you know, but, but it's, it's, it's well also, documented. It's well documented, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, anyone knows football because 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 then he and then he retired because he had like a heart issue because he was just the stress. He was God, put himself on. I didn't know that. And he was never happy. He was never happy. Yeah. He retired. Then he went to Ohio State, won a national championship with Ohio State. I spoke to team that year. That's why they won. I That's think. That's right. That's how we know. Him. <laughs> yep. And then uh, after that, then he went to Jacksonville. At, they went to the NFL, and it was a horrible mistake. It was. Because he tried implementing that same strict with the pros. With those kids, yeah. Those, that, that, that's they're not kids no, there. Those are grown men who are like, men. do what, bitch? Yeah. No, we've already been through that. We've obviously made it, and so just it was a complete failure. Oh, boy. I love Urban Meyer. He's the best. He is, and um, uh, the Tim Tebow. When, when I think, don't people don't realize like me? People like me who don't watch uh, college football. I don't think they realize the level of fame a guy like Tim Tebow has in this country. So you don't mean Tim are close. Oh, so I know. Especially, well, that's how I know Especially him back then, you. super close. Yeah. You know he was the number one selling jersey in the world over Michael Jordan and LeBron James when he was playing college football. In the world? International, because think about like he had such a big he was Christian. Christian following. He was beautiful. So, yeah, dime is any, piece. Is anybody better looking? I mean. Be tough. Right? Yeah. And, and, and here's the thing about him right now, right now with Tim. He's six four, and his legs, and his he's so jacked in this thing. I don't know what he's doing, just lifting weights all the time. But he's gotten more jacked, and his legs are what 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 will blow your fucking mind. Such a good guy, yeah. such a hard worker, such a hard. But worker. also, he's also regarded as top three best college football players of all time. Top three, and that team is regarded as I mean, top definitely top. So, three. so I haven't gotten yet to the point where he's starting in this document oh so you're like one episode in i'm two episodes in so right now they just when there's a, they're at the one yard line they just give it to him and they he get, runs and, it and then people start they put in chris leak who's the starter yeah and they boo him yeah and so they're just the demand demand for tim because he was the number one my question to you is this how much of that is racism how much is that is oh, not racism no no tim's it's just that's so stupid that narrative they try to spin in that yeah, documentary but, but it's in the south and it's no, florida no tim, uh, oh, was it the right choice? He's the best college football player of all time. <laughs> That's true. Is it racism, Brian? <laughs> yeah. Is it racism? Yeah. Is it? Well, he was young. Oh, why? Because when they, he was eighteen. Oh, and why? Because they went to two national championships, won one, could have went to three. Is it racism? You stupid fuck. <laughs> you woke cuck. Hey, do, hey, don't call me that. <laughs> do we think it's racism that they put Tim T. Hey, hey, I'm just no, asking. This is sports. Urban Meyer doesn't give a fuck if the team was all Korean. You know, I understand. If but, they're winning games, but they wouldn't. They don't care they if it was be, all but white. Don't call me. A, what did you call me? 
I, I woke cock. cock don't woke call cock. me a woke cock. A Hillary supporter. Whatever. No, yeah. don't, dude. I'm just asking one question. You can't fucking <laughs> cast me as a woke cock Hillary thing supporter. Out, just, just go back. Like, can we? Yeah. Was it racist that Tim did, would put in the game? <laughs> I just thought maybe how he's gay beautiful is that? and he's but gay is no, that? but he's beautiful and he's the white. number one recruit in the nation, Brian. Well, but he was also 18. I just figured that you got the he's just a better guy. player. All right, and and obviously history but shows that. But they didn't that. put him in there at first because he wasn't. Well, he was quite a ready. freshman. He wasn't ready. But okay. then when they put him in, he performed. And they're like, yeah. okay, he's ready. That's how it goes in college football. Yeah, jeez, man. And they won a national Take championship, it easy, bro. Huh? Take it easy. They wouldn't won a national championship with Leak. Yeah, they did it with Timmy. Yeah, you didn't play quarterback because your hands weren't big enough, right? No, I have, my my palms are big, so I can grip a football. You're not a good I can thrower. grip a basketball. I don't know if you can. can oh, yeah, you? Yeah. you have small fingers, though. Not to be a dick. But no, I don't. No. You don't have good <laughs> fingers for basketball or for throwing football. That's true. No, I can, pal I can palm a ball because I have big palms. Yeah, but you have short fingers. I don't know if they're short. My, no, my, it's my, almost a defect. No. Not to be a dick, but it compared is. Compared to you on Brock Lesnar. No, it's not true because, look, your fingers are – It's look at that. Look at how short – this is why you're no, dick. No, look. Hey, take it Go easy. Go palm to palm. I'm going to. Do you mind? I'm going to. I'm showing you how long my fingers are. My fingers are as long no, as yours. You're trying to you but keep look, going up. But look, look, look. No, do this. Do this. Don't. Here. Do this. Palm to palm. Look, palm, palm to palm. palm. You don't have me by that much, Bubba. And hey, can you let go of me? Palm, I can rip over your <laughs> no, fingers. No, you can't. Come yeah, here. No, sorry. That's what it is. <laughs> you're not going to do that's it That's what it is. No, I don't need to. Dude, <laughs> my fingers are as long as yours. And that's a that's Not an even issue. close. You no, wish. No, but that's a truth. You wish. You well, wish anything up. on your body okay, was like mine. Get it? Yeah. Get a get a fucking measuring tape right now. <laughs> Damn it, Watch we this. had one before, right? Get a measuring tape, and this is a problem. Do it. Your appendages are short, and that's fine. My legs are not short. My legs are long. No, you have long legs. legs. You have long legs. You have long legs, pretty long arms, short fingers. Well, all I'm trying to say is that you you you're not a you're not a thrower. Is that fair? Uh, no. When we did the throwing in college, <laughs> this is why the oh, common yeah. folk doesn't get no, this. No, you didn't do any throwing in college. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Yeah, yeah. We well, we all did. Yeah. So they do the longest throw. I finished second. No, 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 no. Yeah. You finished second? Finished second, bud. In throwing? Yes, Joe Clapp beat me. Are you making this up right no, now? No, no, We used to always do it. I've, I've thrown the old pigskin around with you, and I'm... Was, You've never thrown football with me. Yeah, we did. We've never thrown At football. At Jeff's place, yeah. Who's? Tempest. We were throwing the old pigskin around. No. Yeah, we just... That never we chucked the pigskin. We did dodgeball. We did, we did dodgeball. On, on the beach, too. Yeah, we did we dodgeball. Chucked. No, we chucked. And you saw... And you, you, you were like... I remember you said this. You go, dude... Your hands are pretty crazy for a guy who doesn't play D1 football. And I said, thank that never you. Happened. And then you said, and then you said, and you got some crazy speed. And your, and your girl at the time, who became your wife, said, he's surprisingly explosive. And you said, I don't remember any and of you said, you have no idea. And then she said, wow. And then you said, the rumor is he's got a crazy piece as well. And she said, <laughs> Brian? And you said, you have no idea. So first of all, said, thank you for that go. compliment. Mm -hmm. Right? Thank you for that compliment. And then... Now, hey, when you watch the football stuff, do you go, I'm a pussy? A hundred percent. A little bit, right? No, not, not a little bit. Yeah. I... I, I they're, they're such like freaks. That Division One level? They're such freaks physically. First of all, they're so big and strong. Especially at Florida. But in general, that, that's how it is, man. I, I, monsters. I, I, they're monsters. Like Tim... Like like uh, some of those dudes, the Pouncy Brothers. Oh. You had spikes. I one hundred percent feel like a pussy because well, I am. See, the truth is. Think of my college experience compared to, <laughs> compared to yours. Don't do that. I did Taekwondo. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't do that. even gay. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> my dad got his black belt in nine months. I was gonna wrestle, but I didn't. Yeah, be yeah, cool. me too. Yeah, be me cool. too. Me too. Be cool. Though. Don't yeah, laugh. I was, I was supposed to be on the wrestling team. Yeah, yeah me don't too. Don't laugh, yeah. dude. Don't laugh yeah. about that. Now hold on. Let me just say something. Like you know, you're a cult okay, dude. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Now just all right. You're a big. Kid. And that work ethic never leaves you. All right, dude. I know, but I'm just. That's why you're kind of like spacey all going. over. No, let's no. do the podcast Tuesday. Let's do it Thursday. No, no. Oh, it doesn't that's matter. Oh, that's how, not, how do I run social media? No, oh, no, that's not me, dude. And you you're see being, me just a grinder. No, you're being disrespectful about. Because I, 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 I can be like, thing. Daddy, can you bail me out? No, there's no. I that. didn't do that, daddy, daddy. I didn't call my dad. I called his secretary. Yeah, there's a difference. Big difference. Uh, no, it, it's it is true though. That as a regular guy, when you see those dudes and you go, well, no, here's what here's all seriousness. You go if you say you're an athlete. You might say you can run fast and you can throw and you're coordinated. You ain't an athlete till you've had the mental fortitude to suffer for that long 
through that kind of that's program. That's the difference. So, that's so also like, the difference in the UFC, like from the top five to the champs. Like the champ is willing to suffer. The, <laughs> the skill set wise, everyone can kick, punch, grapple for the most part. But the skill set wise of the, the mental fortitude oh. to get through, like oh my God. you're down two rounds on the card and does not affect no. them. They just power through it. Ben Askren, That's the difference. Ben Askren said that in college, he never took a day off. Like he was so obsessed with wrestling. And th that's one of the reasons he was so amazing. People like that are able to suffer longer than most other people. Tim, Tim, he never took, I never, Tim never took a day off. Even when we were traveling together, he'd get off the jet. So competitive. Right so competitive. Tim is one of those guys that if he had been in the UFC or anything, I think he would have been an absolute monster in anything he chose to do. Oh, you think? Do. Yeah, a monster. Yeah, no shit. Because nobody trained like him. No. And nobody was as co fierce a competitor. And again, and what a freak athlete. Dude, what yeah. a freak athlete. Jeez. Do you mind we do a little measurement? It's all good? I'm sure, if you George, want. George, come on over here. You can measure us. <laughs> Get in there, Georgie. So do, we'll do it from... I don't trust you. From wrist to palm. No, we'll do our fingers, Baba. Well, no, we're, no, no, no. We're doing the whole entire hand. Okay, we can do the That's hand first. That's what I'm saying. It's let's do the hand first. We don't want the podcast to come to a screeching halt, so let's just do it fast. No, but let's do the fingers. I first. know. So just go to whatever the 10 it is. But George, I need you to, because he no, cheats. Look at it from, from the wrist to there. That's eight on the dot, it looks like. Eight on the dot. George, what am I? I'm, I'm right there. That's about a few centimeters under eight. Yeah, so I got the same size hands. No. Now penises. I'm, right, bi Bubba? I'm bigger. Baba, you got me by a couple centimeters. Is that bigger or no? It's a tiny bit bigger. It's bigger I don't though, need right? you to be. I don't need you to be such a stickler for detail. I right? know, I know. Talk about, but bigger. A tiny you know what's bit. a shame though? What? Think what these hands have done compared to yours. Hey, hey. No, Listen, man, no, but you play D one football. I get it. And fought in the UFC. Not a big deal. All right. And then I hold mics now. So do you. So here's the thing though. Think what these hands have done. And you have the same size hands. That's the that's the comparison here. You're making me mad, You've dude. You've done nothing Bullshit, I've hands. done nothing. I was fucking, I've, I've continued to do sports. It's a bummer, right? And I'll tell you something else. And I'm not even asking for this. If I had been born with that bone structure, I would have been on that team. You'd be right here, buddy. Right that on that Without team. Without those experiences. No, I would have been on that team. No, you'd not be on University of Florida's football team. I got team. a strong fucking mind <laughs> let's go one more let's go one more yeah everyone everyone gives it to wrestlers it's it's same thing. it's tough same price, same it's, thing. it's very similar those hawk guys go through the same shit but uh, all the visual one programs it's such yeah. a nightmare man it's such a nightmare it's so good for i kids. do think there's a difference in football and everything else and even you know i think that you play with pain uh oh, probably of course. more but i think you play with more pain with football i just think the compared to what Almost any other sport, the concussions, the MMA is tough, dude. M Hockey's yeah, tough. MMA yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Listen, let's take a little break. Can we take a break? Yeah. Uh, dude. Life happens, dude. And oh you can my get God. injured. Talk about injuries? You can get injured. You can get injured in a car accident. You 35% of all know. fatal accidents occur between 6 p.m. and midnight. Did you know that? Of I had not. no freaking clue. And if okay. you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan and Morgan, man. Yep. Morgan and Morgan, the largest, largest injury law firm. Yep. They have over 100 offices nationwide, more than 800 freaking lawyers with over 15 billion. 15 billion, billion with a B. Recovered for over 300,000 clients. Morgan yeah. Morgan has proven track That's record crazy. of fighting, get you your full and fair compensation. I know, but is it hard? Isn't it hard to, to, go, to go through all the, you got to file a claim? Dude, I don't it's know. so freaking easy, dude. It's so freaking easy. It's yeah. too, you know, it's too easy to make a claim. Yeah. It's a simple click here button here. It's like download an app. It's so freaking easy. You mean it's like just eight clicks maybe on your phone. You can do it from your couch really quickly. Dude, just sitting there in your jammies. All if you're right. ever injured, you can check out Morgan Morgan. Their fee is free unless you win. So their fee is free. I can just file yeah, a claim. Dude, and they, you only, okay. they only make money if you make money. Wow. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash fighter or dial pound L-A-W, that's pound 529 from your cell phone. That's F-O-R, the people.com, fighter, all right? Or, or pound, pound L-A-W, pound 529 from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. Morgan Morgan. Listen, macadamia nuts are the most healthy nuts. Dude, they're, how many times do you have to tell delicious. people? How many, it's not just for the rich anymore. Yep. I cooked my steak with their extra virgin macadamia nut oil. Talk about a buttery flavor and a high smoke point.
Listen. Dude, I gobble those chocolate covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they are addictive. They're they're buttery. That's the main mm, thing I can say. Smooth. If you're if you want the best nuts on planet it's earth it's only nuts that touch these lips they also are really good at satiating your hunger so you don't have to take in a lot of calories but tell them about the bars all right the not bars are nuts. made of 45 percent of the bars are are pure macadamia nuts okay it's not a whole bunch of filler and stuff like that they've got all different kinds of flavors at the end of the day it is the best tasting nut on the planet dude and they never do discounts but i said house of macadamias we got to do some here they said okay buddy how about this for a very special offer for all the friends of Fire and the Kid, for a limited time, they're giving you a free box of 45% macadamia snack bars, one of each flavor. You love it. Cool. Order your own box, whichever flavor you love. Go to houseofmacadamias.com slash T-F-A-K. You get 20% off your entire order with the code T-F-A-K. The best tasting nuts ever. Ever. But I think football, though, but there's, I feel there's, like football There's reason for, probably, like, baseball you don't think is tough. You, you want to talk about athletes, pitchers. 100%. Those pitchers are freaks. They're, awesome. They're all freaks. Freaks. Any high level, I'm saying. The more I get into baseball and I see these pitchers, yeah. like those guys throw 100 pitches. Giants. And the, how fast they throw it over and over, and your body's not meant to do that. No. Talking about 100 miles per hour and yes. throwing junk and curveballs and There is a difference, though, between scenes. baseball and football. Football you are playing with some kind of an injury all the time. Always. But so, yeah. so, are, so are the, like, is he, he, is he yeah. next week? Yeah. So you're, you're never 100%. 100%. That's true. That's the nature of the game. But again, that's, 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 you're getting hit. You're fucking, you know. So UFC. You know, what I de- you know what I did? You know I don't like on that documentary? And this is a spoiler alert, but they don't cover any of the darkness. They don't. And there was darkness. Oh, that's, I mean, the darkest team of all time to if be you just successful. Arrests and crazy uh, shit. I mean, murders, arrests. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. A guy got murdered, and they thought it was Aaron Hernandez's like first murder when he was on the team. I forgot There's, that Aaron Hernandez was on that team. Yeah. I didn't see They him. barely talk about it. They show a picture of him, and then that's it. They don't it. show him. They, they barely show him. He was a big part of that team, man. Jesus. They show him catch a touchdown pass. Forget maybe against Texas, something like that, or USC. But so this is a, this is not a this is they a, don't cover in the dock. Ohio State, or you're saying the Swamp the Swamp Kings? Uh, uh, Swamp Kings. Yeah, they don't cover any of the dock. That's my one criticism of that documentary they covered like that's the part of the story yeah it's insane it'd be like having a documentary on oj simpson just go by- bypassing the murder oh this happened and then right, just right, keep right, going right, right, right. Whoa, whoa whoa that's a big deal right although the, the, the although i would say that the aaron hernandez stuff happened after no it didn't no no, no, no it no. didn't no i mean the when he got recruit when he got drafted to the new patriots. england patriots and those murders but there was stuff going on in university in of florida, florida. The pounces and all that, like this. this and, and didn't he have? Was it there that he was having sex with someone on the team? A guy? Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't. They didn't. Get, and then Cam Newton was also on that team. He got kicked Cam off. Newton was on that Cam team. Newton was on that team. Fuck! What? Athlete? He was a backup to Tim. What? Cam Newton was the backup. I didn't know that. And then he got kicked out of University of Florida for stealing a laptop. What? They don't talk about any of this. Damn, dude. Yeah, Cam Newton was on that team. Woo. The team was filthy. Filthy. That that's a decision They're you make stacked. when you're editing it. That's a decision you make where you go, what are we going to focus on? You know, because but was, then they talk about at the end. They talk about Urban Meyer's downfall. You're like, but what about the kids? Like that was the, one of the main problems with this team. They're so damn good and successful that you had all you had these amazing athletes. There's so many dark arts going on. Yeah. That Urban and like that one uh, lineman talks about. It, he goes, people think like the politicians run Florida or you know the, the governor, the football team, and. And they don't talk about how Urban Meyer got swept a lot of stuff under the rug. You're talking about horrible shit. Just keep the kids available, Football's, keep them yeah, active. Football's li- well, that, that's the other thing that I didn't know. Because I'm see, I didn't grow up in this country. So I mean, it sounds naive, but I'm being really serious. Like when I saw that documentary, and you are a 19 and 20, 21 year old, and I texted you about this, and you have 110,000 people screaming, and that when you walk in anywhere, anywhere in that town. And you're like 19 year old kid from like this very m- small, like a, a, a bad neighborhood, the hood or whatever. And all of a sudden, people are cheering you on or booing you or whatever it might be. It's a lot of pressure. It's life and death. Well, Tim can't even go to class. He got so famous, he can go to class. He had to take online classes. That's so nuts. Because they would literally shut down the class. What? Because kids would find out where he's at and bombard the classroom. Jesus. He's signing autographs. Like he had to stop going to class. Celebrity. 
That's what happened to that the girl who's the baller for LSU. She's the pretty girl. Oh, she can't go to class anymore. The girl from LSU, the number one NIL girl who's making all the money, she can't go to class oh, anymore. Oh, the girl who's a who's a gymnast. Yeah, dime oh, piece. She's so she, awesome. Olivia yeah. Dunn or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she can't go to class anymore. She's too famous. Wow. So those kids, they lose out on the. Well, experience. at least those kids yeah, are making yeah. millions. Olivia Dunn. Think about how much Tim Tebow would have made off his jersey. Think how much that Think school made. That. What's cool about her? So she, so she's obviously a freak athlete and complete dime piece. Her boyfriend was the number one pick from LSU. He's the pitcher. He was the number one pick in the MLB. Signed a $9 million deal, I think. Damn, wow. That's her man. Makes sense. $9 million deal. In college? No, he oh. got drafted to so the MLB. So aren't these high school kids making money now? Look at how gorgeous she is. Jesus. Yeah. Good God. Yeah, she's cool. <laughs> Very talented. There you go. Um, but like the the kid Peyton, Peyton Manning's <laughs> nephew, who who's the backup at Texas, is making more Arch, at Texas. Archie? Archie's making more at Texas, being the backup from the NIL deal than most quarterbacks in the Why? NFL. Why? Because I mean, he's like the next thing. Is he? Is he that? Is oh, he, he's, he's a freak. A he's a freak. Yeah, he's a freak. It's like being a Kennedy. Yeah, he's a Manning. Think about yeah, it. I mean, Archie Manning, yeah. Peyton Manning, uh, Eli your uncle's Manning. Pat, Peyton, Man, yeah. Peyton Manning, I didn't do Eli Manning. His, and his, I think his brother was a D1. Yeah, he was a stud too. He got injured. Unbelievable. Maybe not. That's old. Oh, fuck. Isn't that How crazy? crazy is that? And then your grandpa's Archie Manning? I mean, it's just royalty. You're, you're basically a Kennedy or yeah, a, you really a royalty are. in England. Archie. You really are. Look at that. It's just Archie. And then go to him, Chin. He's a stud. Um, it's gotta be the same guy, no? Archman. So there's Archie and there's Archman. Archie Manning Jr. Probably. Let's go to Archie. Yeah, we're talking about a kid, yeah. Man, yeah. <laughs> there, there he is. is. <laughs> Boy, he looks like a Manning. I'll tell you that much. And he's he's uh, he's just that good, huh? Just Archie has declined all in uh, deals. Went to his name. What is an NIL paid. deal? That's where you get paid. Name your likeness, likeness image. Oh, that's right. Name and I. Oh. Type in uh, how much money he's making. Maybe it's what he got offered, but it's uh, nuts. Unreal. It's cool. These, it, I, I'm on the fence about these kids getting paid. It's, it's just tough. Mm. 3.7 million is a backup. That's nice. He's edging out the likes of Caleb Williams, who's Whoa. the Heisman Trophy winner for USC starting quarterback. Number one drafted prospect. Jeez. He's earning 1.1 million more than USC's Heisman Trophy winning quarterback so far. He hasn't played it down. Um, good for him though like 100%. these kids it, it's good and bad right it's good and the problem is it the dynamics of the team he's a backup quarterback and he's making three million dollars a year right you have kids on that team like it just it separates the team so he pulls up in a bentley and these kids are 17 18 yeah, so strange. and he's a backup he's not playing the stars like what? hopefully he's got There's gonna be resentment his, there hopefully his brother his his uncles and his grandfather and his father can keep is that whose father is archie manning so i think he's the one that didn't make it so at least he's which got, is why he's hopefully he's so got those good. that whole group of people yeah but that's one kid yeah. think about the rest of the yeah. college football yeah so if i'm a lineman linemen don't make money but i'm the star i'm the all-american protecting this quarterback who's decent but he's making more money than me it's gonna be the dynamics are just weird and the resentment yeah, either you figure money it out involved. Though. it's like kind of like actors and comics and some people do really oh yeah because they're so good at money yeah but i'm saying 18 year old managing three million dollars um, yeah, I mean, it's a disaster disaster <clears throat> the pros don't manage it well that's why there's the 30 for 30 broke and they don't cover mortgages taxes health insurance all that they don't cover any of that stuff yeah, you don't then you get out you're like all right yeah, i guess this guy says he can do it i'm gonna give it give him all my money to him and then he screws you over because you're not you're 21 with 10 million dollars in the bank and you buy a 10 million dollar house and they, that's a good idea man you'll be all pro okay so 10 million dollar house i have to put down 20 percent, and then you play for three years then you got this huge nut no one crazy. teaches you that stuff crazy yeah, it's I not, thought I heard that they do now in the NFL. I heard they teach you like you have one fucking class. That's it. Yeah. The UFC does it. The UFC summit. Hey everybody. Okay, here. Be smart with your money. That's our time. Is that it? Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> but again, it's not. It's not on them, is it? One of the things they say that the reason a lot of people go broke is friends and family. So you you you. What's well, the number one way? They, but they alert that to you in the NFL. 
The they, number one thing they go, as soon as it's announced that we get drafted, whatever, the number one reason people go broke is friends and family, yep. mainly family. They're going to give money. So everyone's going to be reaching for money. Everyone's going to be asking for money. So they do warn you on that, but what are you going to do? You and, I, this, you, you and I'd be broke as fuck. I mean, yeah, I'm working on it now. You're this 21-year-old kid, and your mom who raised you is like, hey, honey, I need this $5 million house. You're like, well, my signing bonus was $6 million, so yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Bubba, unless you pay for that house cash, just outright cash, those payments, that's a 20-year mortgage. You're also getting taxed. 30-year mortgage. $5 million. You got taxes. If it's in Florida, if it's in Texas, where's this house at? They don't think about this stuff. I've seen it a million times. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it a million times. I've seen it a million and times. And I'll be honest, guys, I've not been very good with my money. Everybody? Anybody? <laughs> That's I'm right. Good. I make I what I, I spend what I make. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I am not the guy to teach you financial fitness. <laughs> and I should know better, but I don't. I have the same idiot. spending that Kodak Black does. There it's it not good. There it is. That's right. That's Brian right. don't know who that is because he's old as fuck, right? I do because I know his lawyer. He didn't get that I know reference. his lawyer very well, so I know who Kodak <laughs> yeah. Black is. Yeah. Kodak Black went to jail for the for three years for the same crime that Hunter Biden committed. And uh but Hunter's going to be in a world of shit now because when it's starting to come that, out. Well, now well, nobody's protected. Well, the judge in Delaware was like, "Hold on, this it's going to get dicey for him." Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd stick by it. You oh shit! Deion Sanders brought in Brittany Renner to teach his player how to avoid hoes. That's brilliant. Who yeah. is Brittany Renner? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, man! I'm an old guy. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> yeah, I know. Dumbass, huh? No, I'm not. Fuck you, dude. Brittany Renner my, is uh, notoriously known for going after athletes and famous people. Really? She liked the way she's a dime ladies. piece. Oh, so she's, she's a, a dime. bad gal. Well, who wouldn't go after athletes? I don't blame these girls. Rich and handsome as shit. Yeah, calm down. But so, right. well, she, so Dion's brilliant. He brought her in because she's a pro. She's like, these are the red flags. This is what they're going to come for. This is what they look like. This is what, how they talk. So it's brilliant by Dion. I love Dion. And I love Magic Mind. <laughs> I heard Dion use. I heard Dion uses Magic Mind. Yeah, a lot of and people his foot are using. Fell off. A lot of people are using Magic Mind a lot. Uh, Magic Mind is growing faster right now at this stage of their their development than Red Bull or Celsius was, and that's because it works. And that's my commercial for Magic Mind, and that's why I take it. It's every a nootropic. Day. Those others are just straight energy drinks. Yep. You know, that's why it's a big it's, difference, yep. and it's healthy. Yep. Better for you than coffee, all that stuff. It's beautiful and delicious. Hey, can we hear her talk? Yeah, please clip. She's like, hey, well, I'm sucking dick. She She's looks cute. hot, yeah. Did you, are you guys not familiar with her of work? Of course I'm not. I'm not familiar with her work. Oh, my God. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look, all the kids, these are college kids. Wait, wait, stop for a second. Who is she? They must, they all know her. Everybody knows her. Look at him, but Everyone who is she? You. <laughs> yeah, she's just a she's just a thirsty. gorgeous girl who goes for athletes. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself? So my name is Brittany Renner, aka Bundle of Brittany on Instagram. Yeah. I have been on social media from. Joke ain't took notes all year, but now he wants to take notes. Ain't took notes all year. Notes all year. Now he wants to take notes. The world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. And for me, my whole journey on here, I felt like. My life almost felt like I was in Disney World. Like I, I like the motivational music. <laughs> yeah, that's what Georgia was saying. <laughs> but I think this might be this is, might be one of the most important see you as things these guys could ever hear. Everybody wants something, so it's like even if we both have our own thing going on, me still being with you is a good look because you boost my stock, just like you boost my. You know what I'm saying? Like I boost your stock. I, it's just that simple. And I'm gonna play this for my seven year old when I get home. <laughs> this is how the game is played. You think Dion knows a thing or two about the game of hoes? No. Do you Dion I, Sanders. You think I had an in-depth conversation with him and Michael Irvin about that Dion for about three, freaking three or four days. Yeah, I, I, I know. I, I they, they, they ran it as hard as it gets. We all know. The day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't, but oh, you no. do. Everybody does. Yeah. If no, no. People who know football and know anyone that. with a heartbeat knows I don't those think, two. No, fuck. I, don't, I don't. Yeah, but I don't think. <laughs> Even my dad was like Dion fucks. I don't think most people who don't follow sports actually understand and even guys understand like what those guys actually deal with and the access they have on on a level you do because you you know you were in the game but a lot of people like i i think the temptation when you're a superstar like that is i i've never seen anything like it actually 
I've never seen anything like it. I mean, you can see why Dion's getting all these recruits. The most recruits, the biggest recruiting class from going winning one game to Dion signing. Now they have all these transfers, like the biggest recruitment class. They have all five stars now across the board. This is one of the reasons. Like, I, is is the coach of Auburn bringing Brittany Ren Renner? No. No. It's, it's amazing. Then I'm going to have my seven-year-old and three-year-old watch this. As well you should, sir. Say, hey, little bastards, here's what's going on. Your seven-year-old is going to be a S-T-U-D. He's already a stud. Yeah, he's already, already a little stud on his baseball yeah. team. He's got, some, he's, got, he's got some athleticism, huh? Some strength. Bossy's the outlier. Because <laughs> really? he has attitude, too. And he oh, sees yeah. his brother. So he's just sitting and studying, and then we'll be like, do it, and he can, uh, do, it. He can do it better than Tiger already. What? He can do more push-ups than Tiger already. What? What? Drives Tiger nuts. Oh no! I oh, know. Boy. I'm That's like, I'm like I'm telling you, bud. You might get, be the best thing in the world though, because it creates this crazy f competitive spirit. Yeah, that's what, me and my brother. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Got that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Most people that make the NFL will have older brothers. Yeah. It's the common denominator. Yeah. Most of them have that older rivalry. I think fighters so, too. I think, I think a lot of fighters had older. Look at John Jones. You know. Chris Weidman. He talks about that. You know. Interesting. Interesting. For those kids, yeah, the most, especially now the NIL deal, like they're gonna have oh. money. <sighs> Can you imagine? Yikes. I can't imagine. If I was twenty one like when I was thirty, I started making real money. At twenty? No, nah, I couldn't handle it. Wait, we've been doing this pot yeah. When I was thirty, I started making legit money. That's right. Legit money when I was thirty, right. ten years ago. We've been doing podcasts two years. So we started doing Fire Kid Live. Started seeing checks. Started seeing you actual. Sent, I remember you sent, you sent me a picture of the check we made, and I went, "The fuck?" Yeah, I was like, "Oh shit, we're making actual money." Remember, here. I was like, stand up and acting, and that was yeah. always, you know. And then you were like, "How about this?" I, go, I think you said something like, uh, "We can get used to this." I went, "Damn." Yeah. So Ten years ago, I started making at thirty. Even then, I it took me probably. I mean, even now, I don't really have a grasp on it. You know, I have properties and stuff like that, but I don't have a grasp on it. And I'm surrounded by some motherfuckers that are good with money, man. Oh, yeah. Now think of these young kids, three million dollars, and you're twenty or you better, nineteen. You better have a good. You better have somebody who really understands how to. Or you better have fun, bro. No, no, no. Hey, Did no. you have fun? No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's not. Good. Oh my god, have fun, no, 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 fellers. No, no, no. no, you're bad. You're bad. No, you're a bad. You're a bad business. How about guy. today was Tiger's first day of second grade? We're driving, and his mom's all, like, "Is your friend this gonna be over there?" And I'm like, "Hey." You're going to stick up for your fucking self this year. Somebody bullies you, you punch them right in the fucking... And Joanna was like, hey, hey, what are you doing? I was like, I'm sorry. I just... You would love my son. She goes, son. way too intense. I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, you would love my son. You'd love my son. Goes to school. He's got a pair of fake glasses on, a fedora, <laughs> and he carries a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> He's a detective. <laughs> He's like you, though. He loves fashion. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how I was. Shoes. I wore some. You like when I wear those hats? Wore a scarf. Like that I hat like, I wore on Monday. Scarf and it's the summertime. Like the hat I wore on Monday. People are like, oh, that's the thing to wear. I'm like, I've been doing that since I was a kid, man. Yep. I wear outlandish <laughs> My shit. My son's the same way. He shows up. And I don't know what it is. I wonder what that is. I wonder what that he is. He loves it. He loves shoes. Like yeah. he's like, I just want shoes. He wants the Jordans. He knows all about it. I I, I got from Suplex. I got him two pairs of shoes, and he was like, he knew exactly what they were. Oh yeah. And I was like, "Damn!" Second, he saw grade. that I gave uh, the suplex. Uh, Mike gave me those uh, Jordans that were chocolate. The chocolate, uh, the mocha. The mocha. Those are sick. I didn't know what they were. They're seven hundred. They're bucks. just released. I had them, no yeah. idea. They re-released them. They're sick. I gave them to my nephew because because they were a little big on me, and my nephew loved them. And then he grew out of them, but like he told me, like he couldn't believe it. And then my son saw them, and he was like, "Those are the mocha Jordans." He wants them. Like, yeah. Your son needs to talk to me. Yeah. Yeah, because you know your shit at mm -hmm. when it comes. To, yeah, he's he's all about it. He's all about it. Uh, what do you got, Chin? <laughs> okay. One second. Look at that old school T Fat K shirt, dude. I got to pee yeah. hard. Let me oh, pee. Go real for quick it. For you you got to pee. I'm coming with you. Hard. What do you got, Chin? I like the shirt, Chin. Chin. Thank you. It's, made that you guys made it. Look at that. It's actually an amazing shirt. There's. TV I don't. I, I think my girl gave away all those old school shirts I have, really? like the Fire and the Kids. I still have the jackets. Mm. I still needed the red jacket from you. I know. I got to find a large in that for you. <gasps> Great shirt. But uh, yeah, so there's Theo, Chris, Bobby, damn, Brendan, here. <laughs> and then Brian. <Bronger. laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> yeah, great. Just You're Robin, great. yeah, just great. You're gay, Robin. It was so. This is a great shirt, though. 
Yeah, thank thank you. Thank you. Okay, Rob. Dude is amazing. Yeah. All right. So this happened recently. This is a uh, this is Del Amo, which is like in Torrance here in California. It's not too far from here. Um, there's for some reason a bunch of teenagers just going crazy and brawling. Mm -hmm. Why? I'll show you a little bit of it. So at there's no school, real reason. At school or what? No, no. The only thing that I could find was like there was like a discount on the movie theater. So, okay. So if you're like a student or no, something, it was the discount. Kids. They do this in New York. I would see. But there's like time. people. The witnesses said there was like 400 <sighs> something people. That's a lot of. Kids. And they would beat other people up. And the reason why I bring this up is because Henry Gracie posted this on his Instagram, and this one guy saw this one dude oh, get chased by a bunch of people getting beat up and then he just came in i'll show you this video real quick this kid in the black and white hoodie running away from the crowd gets grabbed from behind pulled to the ground gets stomped and he's just an innocent kid we don't know the story 10 different kids are stepping on him with look at this guy in the blue shirt storms in from out of nowhere puts himself right in the middle pushes kids off That's the victim man and starts yelling and separating with every cell in his body good for that guy yeah into it the crazy part is i don't know who the victim was i don't know who's at fault i don't know why they're fighting one kid was getting jumped and this guy it's like black on asian crime rushes in there and risks I mean, his own life everything to put out a mostly. fire that i don't think it's a race thing you caught <laughs> He's cut from a different cloth, and the best part is anybody can he's get in it. Torrance, Uber's California. Kids. This happened at Del Mamo wow. Mall. So either way, but the you know, so there's mostly black kids, but then there's a black guy that defended that. Well, I guess no, Mexican or I'm white saying, kid, whatever. Yeah, Asian the kid could have been Mexican. I, 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 either way, the the dude that came in to fight back all those I heard, guys. I saw one of the black kids go get that <laughs> Asian. I know he's trying to make it race. So we don't know much about this story, but. Apparently, this is the guy. What's wrong with kids, though? I, what, <clears throat> in, in New York it, City, what, bubble, when I was I 16, all the time. if my friend's like, hey, let's go to the mall and just fight anybody. What? I saw it in New York all the time. What, no, 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 no. What are you talking the about? Groups of kids wilding out, they, they call it. But this guy, it's, it's, apparently Love his that name guy. is that on, on Instagram, That Boy Reckless. And then Love he's him. just, all his posts are super like. Positive? Yeah, super positive. They're really great. Yeah. He seems wow. just like a good dude. A that man. role model. Look, you can, you will. Oh, awesome. I like this guy, dude. And he's the one that did. Apparently, he's the one that did it. And the, I love this one especially. That's a good man. You say the working man gets that slow money, but I say it's the sh it's faux show, show money. money. Mm -hmm. From the janitor to the CEO of the company, we all humans trying to get by and deserve the same respect. I love that. Dude, we should get him right. on the pod <laughs> for sure. I love this mother. But I mean, if this is for a fact, that guy, it's, it's still kind of like a little bit. Be funny if it was. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> we, had him on. we don't know for a fact, so. But I, it be, seems like that's funny. Comes out, he's like, "Yeah, I wasn't there." But the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> and Dana White reposted uh, Henner's story too. I love him. So, I love yeah. him. Henner, one of my favorite people on the planet. Yep. There's nobody better at talking or selling than awesome. Henner Gracie. He's awesome. That's dope. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get those kids. I don't get it, man. I don't know what happened exactly. What's up? And 400? Who has 400 friends who are down to jump people? It's just it, what happens is they get out of school, and there's always already beef in school going on. It's that mob they mentality get, The minute thing. they get off campus. That's why you need sports. They break, yeah. That's why need, my kids don't have 100%. a choice. 100%. Now, when they get to high, high school, it, it could get a little dicey if there's a discussion there, but right now they don't have a, they have to do sports. Keeps them out of trouble, 100%. keeps them disciplined, keeps them having a goal. There's no choice. If you live in my house, <laughs> them the rules. I, I mean, you every, in my house, every, you gotta play sports. Every society always knows that you're, especially boys from the age of like fucking 13 to 18, you gotta keep them you don't just let them idle around in groups. No, if they that's get a, bored, that's so no much way, trouble. Man, there's drugs, babies, killings, all <laughs> kinds, bangs, <laughs> all that shit, sucking each other off. Hey, man, but there's other stuff jobs, too. No, 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 butt but, play. No, that's fine. What? I'm talking about the violence no, that goes on. Play. Man, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Furries. What? Peanut butter in your butthole. Oh God, where's oh, my look dog? At the joke. Where's my dog? Oh. oh, there's no dog. Just my friend Terry. <laughs> that's how I feel. What, Terry? Get it, Terry. Terry, peanut butter is not sanitary from somebody's bung hole. That's why people are like, you, you, oh, but what about CT? I'm like, hey, man, I'd rather have a splash of CT. I've then done pretty well with it. Fucking death. Then jump people at the mall because they're bored. Yeah. That's right. You wouldn't know nothing about that, though, pussy. <laughs> why are you saying that about me? <laughs> I came up hard, dude. What do you got, Jen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this was something that happened in Saudi Arabia. Iggy Azalea was doing a con uh, performing in a concert. She's cool. And her pants accidentally ripped Ooh, oh yeah. but you can't show yeah. skin especially if, if you're female in saudi arabia you can't show skin oh so. did they kill her <laughs> no no <laughs> they didn't kill her no so i'll Izzy, show you the actual izzy's iggy's pants ripped and they cut her head off no, no, no they didn't no, kill no. her but watch I like see, see it accidentally rips here 
But that alone, that little rip, yeah. made the authorities cancel her entire yeah, they, performance. She's lucky she didn't get stoned. No, yeah. they, they, Allah did that. So, Allah did that from too bad it didn't cut in the back. Just the mm. fucking thigh. Right there, look at how it just. I mean, if I bent down these, would peel off. It's kind of a cool look, actually. She's like she has like really thick thighs, so yeah, yeah she's get, cool. I get why it happened. Every facet, yeah. she's cool. Yep. Um, so she did say the authority. She said, "Don't blame the promoters. It was the authorities." And then she also said one other thing. Damn, they didn't let her finish. She goes, "I did it. I, I did, but I also said, ladies make some noise. It's a woman's world, and apparently that's what made them want to kick." Saudi Arabia. Went, she said Saudi Arabia the- went. Excuse me. Yeah. So me? when she says it was the police, it was the religious police. Okay. Mm. And the mullahs and um, the the MS MBS who, Muhammad bin Sultan who you runs, well speak runs Saudi Arabic Arabia. Arabic. He's modernizing Saudi Arabia, but there's this dance he's doing. And there's mm. there's a quadrant of Saudi Arabia where you're allowed to do whatever you want, and there's a quadrant where you're you know. Well, the, where she fucked up was like it's a women's world in Saudi Arabia. Say last, yeah, right, cut yeah. her mic. <laughs> cut her mic. No, she says that. she thinks that's what actually pushed probably. it over the edge. Uh, yeah. Both cut probably. The mic. Yeah. yeah. But that they're, was, they're probably like, oh, her, her her dress ripped? Like, yeah, like, do we cut her head off? No, no. But then she yelled, <laughs> it's, it's a woman's bad. world. They went, let's stone her. When I lived there, you women weren't allowed to drive, and they weren't allowed to work. So it's changed now. But it's very recent. Way less accidents. Probably a better world. Right? Brendan? Brendan? Just Brendan. kidding. Brendan? <laughs> All right. What do you got, Chen? All right. I saw this. <laughs> Oh, this, this is, this is, a, this is, this is a video I see from this, I think the same account, min, like multiple times, Sanda.China. It's like kids sparring with yeah. other kids or their parents. So yes. here we go. This looks, this even though that kid looks like an older dude. Oh, oh, yeah, he does. How old he's, is he's he? He's probably 30. Oh, look at that. Oh, that body shot. Yeah, he, he, Woo, looks, he looks really good. He probably has to be at least 9 or 10. He's got some speed on him. Oh, back How's kick. Oh, <laughs> This kid can throw. God. He's like he's like you skillful know, technique. Dad can take a beating too. He yeah. He's about oh, to he knock out up. dad. This kid, this kid is just loving this shit. Look at that body shot. Oh, damn! <laughs> oh, ow! That's a little much though. Not elephant in the room. Probably <laughs> stop feeding so much rice, right? <laughs> For being, well, for being that active, kid has a bit of yeah. Cutting. That's true. He's growing though. He's, he's growing. got some speed. I, I'm I'm impressed with the kid's speed. He's got. Yeah. He seems to have some really good technique and good speed. And my parents fed me a ton when I was growing up. Yeah. I was so fat, but then I started developing, getting taller and bigger. So there, there is a three hundred pounds. Gym. Yeah, there is a large <laughs> but I got carbohydrate though, and I lost quotient weight. there. I think that kid, or that maybe just like I, you know, I got started just growing baby fat on a certain point. Yeah. <laughs> at ten though, with that, that's the parents feeding him. Yeah. Like that's on the parents. Yeah. Like when I see a fat kid, I look at the parents I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Right. At least give him a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are just a bunch of silly memes that George found. These are found. my memes that I think are funny. I this video never gets old. Call for the ball. Hello, ball. Here we go. Hands up. Oh, call it's for in the face. Hey, <laughs> oh. The mom said, call for the ball. Hands up. Call for the ball. Hey, ball. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Yeah, so, so he just says hello, ball. Because he's going like this, call for the ball. Oh, Mom's like, God. no, not like that, dude. <laughs> and this one's crazy. This is a super dad at a baseball game right here. Drops the baby. Catches oh, Jesus. The baby. Okay. Beer It'll man. replay again. You'll see exactly oh, that's what impressive. happens. That's an athlete. He's holding the kid with one arm? Yeah. You'll see what happens here after it plays again. Oh. See it? He let go of the kid. Oh, 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 oh. Again. you see? Oh, he oh had, that's he's holding the kid. Catch. Oh, drop. that's yeah. impressive. That's, that's impressive. God, give him season tickets at least. Are you kidding? <laughs> Some. Oh, you gotta give it up. <laughs> the kid's like, I didn't even want the ball, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and and he saves hand. his beer too. I like when they show the when the that the MLB games they hit the home run and the kid catches it and dad's like, yeah, and the kid throws it back. Dad's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, here's this one's. This one's a little less. This one ends on a little less positive note, but teach your kids well. <laughs> oh! oh! It's so tough to you watch. You can see how that happens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, cutie pie. 
Oh, wow. oh God. <laughs> well, Whoa. that's part of life, ain't it? Getting a couple of nicks and bruises. Who's this guy? This is a kid who Besides is... Besides being the devil. He's coming out <laughs> to his little brother. Oh. All right. Throw back to when I came out to my brother. I mean, young His brother's a little young. I agree. That's disgusting. Bro, you can't be homophobic. What does that mean? It means you don't like gay people. So you're gay? Yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little great. young for it, though. That, yeah, be young. that makes more sense. Yeah, but yeah, you know what? Sense. I want to play with GI Joe's. You kept wanting to play with Barbies. <laughs> the fact that he said that makes more sense. Mom, because a straight guy with a boyfriend—that's disgusting. Hey, you can't be on the phone. Okay. How All interesting. Right. Here's another one. Yeah. Uh, this is what not to do as a little league catcher right here. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Wait, what happened? He's there? probably going to throw the bat, the runner out, and just got too excited. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he's just used to practice. Maybe why does he grab his back like that? No, he, <laughs> that batter hit, hit the back. <laughs> hit his back, yeah. or his, his or her back. You'll see right here. Watch. Uh, I don't you know. See what the batter. The watch. <laughs> <laughs> right in the old kidney. <laughs> Yeah, Why did he, what happened when he swung? Oh, he swung. I wonder what they do with that, though. What's the penalty there? Because the catcher's in the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's just. Uh, I think it's death. I think I the penalty is death. That was in Saudi Arabia. It was like Saudi Arabia was stoned. He was uh, oh. stoned to death. Yeah. Um, oh, right. this is a crazy little story right here. What is it? Should we do fear on the octa? Oh, here we go. Fell from the sky and landed on her. Apparently, <laughs> was hunting nearby and dropped the snake as it flew over. So the snake dis. Look at this. Oh, and confused, started attacking her. Then the hawk, my goodness, came back to get its meal, and it also started attacking her. Peggy says know. the entire ordeal is giving her a new appreciation for the small things. In the blink of an eye and the snap of a finger. Oh, she killed the snake. And you don't know if it's a hawk was hunting, a hawk dropped its snake, snake, or a car wreck, or whatever. The snake I attacked everybody her. And the hawk came more. back. And when I and eat a piece of chocolate, well. it tastes so much better. That's just bad luck. <laughs> That's just called <laughs> bad luck. <laughs> That's just bad luck. Or, <laughs> or your neighbor does voodoo. The or the hawk, hawk senses the you're weak you and not that healthy, and it a wants to kill you. And a snake. Thank you, Jones. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, I, I wonder what the chance of that happening somebody. Yeah, I mean, can't that, be high. I, yeah, I, better to win the lottery. I mean, wait. So the the, she, the, the hawk dropped the hawk the snake, had the snake, came back down to get it, dropped it on her. Yeah, mm -hmm. on her arm. That's a that's a that's rattle. a rattlesnake. That's a rattlesnake. <laughs> so that's she gets tore by the snake. Yeah. Then the hawk's like, "That's lunch, bitch." Comes down and then starts attacking her. <laughs> I heard a story and it's probably not true, but I love it. So I hate when, birds in general. when they drop water on fires, they have these giant scoop things that scoop it up yeah, in the plane. Yeah, from the lake and, or pond. And they they got a guy who was scuba diving or snorkeling. <laughs> that's bullshit, though, right? <laughs> and dropped him into trees. I feel like that's fake. He was caught in a tree. That's fake, right? It's got to be fake. How do you... Because I'm sure they scan <laughs> unless he's down there for a hot second. Yeah, I don't know. They, they, you ever seen how much water they drop? It's so... It doesn't look like much. It's so oh, much dude, water. Have you ever seen people under the plane and they get doused by the water? It's, it's crazy. so much water. Oh, yeah. I feel like that story's scuba fake. scuba diver and tree. I feel like that story's fake, though. No. It's, it's, so this is Snopes. So this is way of, well, one tree, way to find out. Is Snopes uh, legit? Did no. Uh, there's some like... Yeah. Uh, false fuck well, well i feel like it's happened before right yeah it's not true there's no right. you know what show I, I that's started, possible though it's possible you know what show i, I what did, did we watch season one here i don't think you did b maybe georgie you did but um oh what the fu uh, um not love is blind the ultimatum have you seen it so ultimate it's couples that have been together for like two to yeah, seven I've years seen. and they and one of the the either the woman or the man go we you we need to get married move on so they they put him on the show it's nicholas shea and his girl who host it vanessa manila or something. yeah and so they have the opportunity to either get married or break up but before they decide they go on the show there's whatever six other couples and they can mix and match and date for two weeks they live together what'd be like to be with a oh, married right. couple right, right, right. and they can decide if they want to go with that partner or get married <sighs> I've seen it. The I've season, seen the show. season finale is, I think, tomorrow night, yeah. 
but I mean, it's just it's intense. It's intense. The people the, are faced with the truth of like they're like. But the the best is the couples that they're forced to live together and they don't get along. And when there's beef, that's the best. <laughs> I love it. It's a good show, actually. It's so good. I've watched it. My 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 wife loves that show. Nick Lachey has. They have the easiest job. They show up three times. It's unbelievable. And make so much money. It's unbelievable. I He's a good guy. I, I got to know him a little bit because his wife at the time, or girlfriend at the time, was on my show. Uh, 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 what's her name? Who Vanessa Manillo, I no, believe. No, no, uh, um, no. Jessica Simpson. Who? Yes, Jessica oh, Jessica Simpson. Simpson yeah. yeah. It's a good job. <clears throat> Not better than uh, Down with Love, but whatever. <laughs> what else you got? I think that's pretty much it, man. We did it again, Brent. I think we, we did it again. We did it again. Oops. We did I it again. We did it again. Wise guys, this weekend, September 1 and 2, I'll see Salt you there. Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. And God damn it, Melbourne, Florida, King Center, September 23rd, uh, Saturday. And then I go right over to Genesee Theater, Waukegan, Illinois, on a Sunday at 7 o'clock. And I know you guys are dying to come out on a Sunday. We'll see you there. Uh, then we're at Covina. That's oh, next yeah. Friday, September sure. 8th. Two shows. That's right. 7, 9, 30. Those bad boys almost sold out. We got two shows. Get your tickets right now. Let's go. For Covina, California, the Laugh Factory little theater there. There's one main street in Covina, so you know where it's at. Uh, but that's me and Brian together. That is next Friday. Then Saturday, we're on the fight campaign for UFC 293. Izzy Strickland with Joe Rogan, Tripoli, Callan, and myself. Then I'm in Spokane, Washington, September 21st through the 23rd, Spokane Club. Comedy Club. We're at Skank Fest there doing live, finding the kids and stand-up. Uh, then I'm in Iowa, October 13th through the 14th, one show Friday, one show Saturday. Niagara Falls is November 4th through the 5th, and then I'm in Chicago in December. All right, kids, take it to thickboy.com. Love you guys.